Welcome back, everybody. We are going to now summarize volume, volume ventilation and pressure ventilation in regards to the types of modes that can be used in each one of them. So I've got my, my chart here, volume ventilation on one side, pressure ventilation on the other. And in summary, remember in volume ventilation, we as respiratory therapists set the tidal volume because it's volume ventilation so we set the tidal volume that tidal volume will not change but what does change okay so that's the delta sign meaning change what does change is the peak inspiratory pressure so when the airway gets smaller that peak pressure might increase so what changes the pip is changes in airway resistance and if the alveoli gets stiffer or looser, that PIP will change. So airway resistance and compliance. Okay, so in volume ventilation, we set the tidal volume, it does not change. What does change is the peak inspiratory pressure and it will fluctuate depending on changes in airway resistance and alveolar compliance, all right? In contrast, pressure ventilation, we as therapists, we set the peak inspiratory pressure because it's pressure ventilation. We set the PIP, the PIP will not change. But what will change will be the tidal volume, okay? That tidal volume will fluctuate because of airway resistance changes and lung compliance or alveolar compliance changes. All right, so basically two types of ventilation, volume ventilation and pressure ventilation. Now we've got modes of ventilation. In volume ventilation, we have CMV, we have AC, and we have SIMV. Well, when we set the tidal volume, that tidal volume doesn't change, so we call this volume VC, CMV, VC, AC, and VC, SIMV. So really starting from the top, remember CMV, the machine does all the work the patient does absolutely nothing. In AC mode, the patient can start participating by triggering a breath, but when they trigger a breath, they will get the set tidal volume, all right? And then in SIMV, we allow the patient to have even more ownership in the work to breathe. The patient can start breathing spontaneously between set machine breaths. Okay, so really what we're doing is this is just the type of ventilation. So VC means volume ventilation. And this is how we allow the patient to interact with the ventilator. All right, so we have, you know, when we say VC, CMV, we have a mirror component in pressure ventilation. We have PC, CMV. We have PC, AC, and we have PC, SIMV. So when we say PC, what we mean is we're gonna set the pressure, it won't change, but what changes is the tidal volume, and this part of it determines how we allow the patient to interact. So in PC, CMV, the, the machine's controlling everything, the patient's doing nothing. In PCAC, we're allowing the patient to trigger a breath, but when they trigger a breath, they will get that set PIP because it's pressure ventilation. Or if we change them to SIMV, we are, we are allowing the patient to breathe spontaneously in between the set breaths. So really, CMV, AC, and SIMV are the same thing in each types of ventilation, what really differs is if we're doing volume ventilation or pressure ventilation. But CMV, the machine does all the work. AC, the patient initiates, and they will either get the set tidal volume if it's volume control, or the set pressure if it's pressure control. And in SIMV, we allow the patient to breathe spontaneously around the set breaths. But those set breaths may have set tidal volumes in volume ventilation or set pressures in pressure ventilation. Super easy, right? So this right here are six of the eight modes of mechanical ventilation. You only have two other ones and they're the spontaneous mode. Pressure support, 
which augments spontaneous tidal volume. Okay, so pressure support helps ventilate. CPAP is a completely spontaneous mode. The patient is breathing at an above baseline pressure for oxygenation. All right, so pressure support, ventilation, CPAP, oxygenation. And there you have your traditional modes of mechanical ventilation. If you can understand these eight modes separately, then the more advanced modes of mechanical ventilation are just combination of these same theories. So I hope you have found this beneficial. Stay tuned. More uh, lessons are coming up at Respiratory HQ. Talk to you soon.